Summer calls for outdoor activities and one of my faves is stand-up paddling. Since this is Aok's first summer, I had to introduce him to SUP and received quite a few DMs when I shared our first SUP venture on our IG stories. I am not a trainer, but wanted to share my SUP experience with Aoki and you all. So this video will show you how to teach your pup to paddle and this also applies to kayaking if ever this is what you prefer doing. So grab your coffee and your notepad because on today's agenda we are covering the sub introduction, sub essentials and my sub tips and tricks. If you're new here, I'm Anais and this is Aoki. Welcome to the family. There are a few steps to prepare your puppy before actually teaching them to sup. Now this will not guarantee that they'll be 100% comfy and at ease when on the water, but at least they'll know what is happening, have a sense of what the paddle is as they've already been introduced to the paddle itself, ideally more than once. I would recommend introducing your puppy to the sup in the comfort of your home. This would be optimal to do because your puppy is already confident, they'd be more receptive and prone to enjoying the activity. To start, I am using an empty water bottle that I placed under the sup. This would this makes it unstable and mimics the waves. This will help your puppy to get used to the paddle's movements on the water. Don't forget to gear up so you need your treatos with you and show your pup the different parts, not only the paddle itself, but also the life vest, the air pump, and also the manual pump if you have one. Now, I would recommend following your pup's own pace, so don't rush him into doing too many things all at once. Pay attention to his body language. If he is not comfortable, just take a few steps back and don't forget to praise them and reward them with treatos whenever they show you they're comfortable so that they associate the activity, what is happening to something that is positive. So take your time, give them treatos, this is something to enjoy, it's not something to rush. And I feel like these kind of activities really help first build confidence in your puppy, doing new things, showing them that they are more than capable of doing new activities, tackle new situations, help them really build their own self-confidence. Now I want to remind you that this step will not guarantee that everything will go as planned. It most probably will not because it was exactly what happened in my situation. Aoki was not very at ease on the water because he hates getting wet. So that does not help. That said, you are doing the best you can as a parent and that takes credit as well. So kudos if you do that first step and be kind to yourself. Now your sub essentials include a towel, a wet towel as well, dog bowl, leash, harness, and collar, a couple of heavy-duty carabiners, treats, life vest, and poo bags. If you have an inflated sub, it'll take you some time to gear up and get ready. So I would recommend 
keeping your pups in the car with the aircon on or keeping them somewhere in the shade leashed with access to water and maybe a few treats so that they keep their patience in check. We did talk about ways to keep your puppies cool in our previous video. So here you can see that Merida is wearing a wet towel under her life vest so that will help her keep cool. As for Aeox, this is kind of useless because he always falls into the water somehow. So he will get wet either way. One thing I noticed really helps him is placing a towel at the front of the sup where he usually just chills, stand or just cries a bit. Uh, the towel will give him extra grip so that he does not fall in the water. Now, a few tips and tricks that I came up with based on my experience with Alki is when introducing your puppy to supping or kayaking, I would recommend keeping your rides short and easy at first just to get them acquainted to the situation and then you can increase the length of your sub trips. Remember going at their pace and their pace only. Um, even though you want to go for long rides, I would always recommend starting slow and steady at first. Something else that helps Aoki is going with friends who also have doggos. So as you saw, we went with Boba and Merida. This really helped Alki get more comfortable and willing to participate as well. Now, this is not foolproof. He did cry a few times. He was shaking a bit on the paddle. But the fact that I'm taking it slowly, he can see that Boba's here, Merida's there. It helps him be a tiny bit more comfortable whenever they see each other. If ever you can take breaks a few times, do that. This will help as well. I remember on our first trip, we did this ride where there were tiny islands here and there and he could get out of the paddle, shake his legs a bit, on the islands before going back on the sub. This really helped him get more comfortable on the paddle and off the paddle because he had those tiny breaks here and there. So if you had this opportunity to do that, 100% go for it. One last tip for you and your pupper is to keep calm. Remember that they can sense your mood, they can sense your emotions, so just keep calm. It's okay if they fall, it's okay if they cry a bit, I mean, it's normal, it's new to them. Something else that goes without saying, before going on the paddle with your puppy, make sure that you are comfortable because if ever there's a difficult situation on the water, you want to be able to tackle the situation while being calm. So make sure you have all the gear that's necessary to paddle or kayak with you. And don't forget to enjoy the ride. I'd love to know what kind of summer activities you do with your puppies. Let me know what summer activities you love doing with your puppy. Let me know what summer activities you love doing with your puppies in the comments below. 
We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from Aok and I, hug that subscribe button and notification bell so that you don't miss out when we post more dog content. In the meantime, I wish you all to have an amazing week. See you soon!